Everybody, this is a wrap in sports with Jack. So the J to the A to the X and X.com. Go over to the website. Check it out. Anyway, how we doing here? I'm just sitting around, so I have nothing rehearsed. So I figure I want to come up here and talk about the Chicago Cubs. I haven't really talked about them that much this year. I'm going to start now because it's getting later in the year. And the Cubs playing good baseball. And they're just getting it from all different kind of places. I mean, right now they're in first place at the time of this uh, they're tied with Milwaukee, so they're going to be battling with Milwaukee for probably toward the end of the year. Cincinnati's about four games out. St. Louis has kind of dropped off, and Pittsburgh has just been where they've been. So it's, it's very, very interesting what the Cubs are doing. The thing that I'm worried about now that I think the Cubs might drop out of first for a little bit is Milwaukee's schedule. It's so easy right now. I mean, they're, they're playing Arizonas and Colorados while we're playing the Mets and the Dodgers. So... I can't see if the Cubs can somehow go on the road and come back and still end up in first place. The only tough game uh, Milwaukee has is Cincinnati right now because Cincinnati's actually been playing good baseball as it, and we'll see how it goes. But after that, uh, Milwaukee's schedule drops off, and it's not to say that the Cubs didn't have an easy schedule early. I don't remember because it kind of all balances out in the end, so we'll see how it works out. But the surprising part of the Cubs is the relief pitching. I mean, uh, Chafin and uh, Tapera have been unfreaking believable. And Kimball is back to being Kimball. I guess he just needed a normal spring, just like it is. Plus, I believe it's a contract year. Those things tend to make you learn how to play somehow. So we'll look at it that way. But the Cubs' relief pitching has been the surpriser. The starters have been okay. Hendrick is starting to pitch good. Um, Arietta is a little bit on, on the downside, but he's still around 500. He gives you a good game every once in a while to keep it going. Davies has pitched the last couple of games, if I remember right, pretty good. Uh, they have a couple of injuries at this time. Mills is going to be pitching tonight because they have a few injuries, and the Cubs have been covering up for their injuries all year. This kid, Wisdom, this guy, Wisdom's unbelievable, but he's like a perfect example. If you hit the ball, you come up from the minors or you come from anywhere, and you hit the ball, you're not coming out the lineup. It's just that simple. They don't care who you are or where you are. And this guy has been unfreaking believable. What a boost that we need. Uh, Bryant and Baez are doing big time numbers like you expect. Baez has been a little nicked up. Uh, not too long ago, Rizzo's nicked up, and he's starting to get back in the groove of the stuff. So we'll see how it goes. And some of the injured players, hey, we're just finally come back. Marizic's come back. So we'll see. Uh, Peterson's playing good ball. So it's going to be interesting down the stretch. Now the whole problem is, well, not the problem. It could be a good problem. But now what are the Cubs going to do? If they're in it and they have a chance to win the division late, are they sellers or are they buyers? Because they still haven't solved these contract problems. Not one person has been signed. And, and what I'm thinking, it's probably just going to be a avalanche when it comes up. Everyone's probably going to just sign first one, first two, then first three. That's probably what it's going to look That's what I think it's going to look like. But I think Kimbrell is added to being on his contract year, too. So that's like five players they have to figure out. It's unbelievable that they couldn't solve any of these problems earlier to make their life a lot easier. And it used to be, and I think everyone had the back of their mind, Trey Bryant. Trey Bryant. He seemed to be the one that everyone was picking on. Uh, no. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I, I I can't see it. He's just too good of a player. You really got to get stuff from him. Now what they got for you, Darvish, they got all these young, super young kids that you have no clue. That trade will be a puzzler for no end. But when he did pitch against Arietta, Arietta hang, hung in there with him. That was one of the guys he, games he pitched okay. But he's still inconsistent on the lower side, and the Cubs definitely can use another pitcher somewhere along the line to help them out. But the hitting seems to be good. The Cubs are going to have probably have a good hitting team the rest of the year. I can't see where it's going to drop off. They do go through funks, but they haven't really gone through one so far this year, maybe early, that I can't remember. So with the Cubs, the key is can this relief pitch and stay this way? I think so because this is not like it's a 5, 10, even a month thing. This has been going on since the beginning of the year with the Cubs relief pitch, and they got Nance, and they just got new players, and they're all coming in, and they all seem to be doing the job. And the only way you're going to stay in the majors is if you're a hitter, you get hit. If you're a pitcher, you get out. It's pretty much that simple. And the Cubs seem to be doing this. 
And it's going to all come down to division games. And it seems like the Cardinals have maybe dropped off a little bit. They're a strange team. They have talent. I don't think they have the greatest pitching staff. They have a pitching staff with some veterans on it, but their relief pitching I don't think is very good, and they're very inconsistent. Milwaukee at least has a good relief uh, starting pitching. So you know you're going to get good starters, and then they got the closer. So they can be they can be tricky down the stretch, but I think it's they're going to battle all the way to the end, probably down to the last week for first place between them two teams. I'll be surprised. I don't see any team running away with it, and we'll see how it goes from there. Anyway, so that's my talk about the Cubs. We'll see how they go. We'll see what's going to happen. This is a tough stretch, and they're going to play some road games against some good teams, so we're going to see what's going to happen. But anyway, this is a wrap in sports with Jacks from the J to the A to the X to the X dot com. Go over to the website. Hey, everybody throw a couple of likes up there so I can move up up the old YouTube, and we'll see how it goes. Talk to you later. Bye.